I'm a reggae artist from Kingston, Jamaica. I own Ross Cutter's music production. I work with two other producers, Sean and Booth. Engineer from Ross Cutter's production. Yeah, Ross Cutter's production. I have person with me. I have person from Fireworks. You know. Long time an engineer still, but I have person come to the studio one them day and say my singer. <laughs> I always start a story still, but he must sing and me don't say him half key and thing. I'm telling him say better him right and still I sing it. <laughs> and take it up on him and I start singing. Get better and better over the years, and we just found one label. Start recording some arts, must want to read them and the merits, but I tune them for the artists, them and things, you know. Things take off and move from there. Right now, Russ Cutters is one of the one of the top upcoming recording label right now, out of Jamaica. Just check out some of our stuff, them on iTunes. And Oh God. Most of out soon. Yo, world. My name is Balfour Breadwood, otherwise known as Buff. The musician of the Rust Cutters. I play all the rhythm tracks, all the music for the Rust Cutters, and we're a team. Sean is the engineer, and Higher Purse is the producer and singer, and we're the Rust Cutters. And Hope you love our music. Respect. Okay, so um, I go by the name of Caramanti. I'm officially a Ross Cutters uh, music production artist. Pretty much the way I got uh, started with Ross Cutters is a higher person myself. We're, we're friends first, you know. Um, I met him in 2007. Uh, the minute I found out that he's involved in music, he found out I'm involved in music, we just sort of connected and we've been working ever since then. And I, I think it was like at some point last year, he told me that, yo, I want, it, I want you to be a part of Ross Cutter's music and it, it's a no-brainer, we're friends first, so I'm just like, yo, anything you're doing, I'm doing, you know, just like that. It's building up the guy for you and me. One hand washed the other. music accomplishment to date. We have done several compilation albums where we have completed the old school rhythm a few months ago and released it on the 25th of November. And we are doing well in terms of our promotion overseas. You can find the old school rhythm on iTunes. You can find it on Amazon, eMusic, and some other major, major internet download sites. The old school rhythm is distributed by Zojak. It is published by Black Woman 22 Music. You can check Maria Jackson 27 blogspotcom and you can get a link to download the music from there. It is the old school rhythm is something that we all should have. You should have it, right? The old school rhythm features Natural Black, it features Natty King, Aya Purse, it features Natty Rag and Marcaras combination from Germany, it features 
Caramanti and Smokey Benz combination. It features Rage, as I said, Aya Purse, Kush Hunter, Wildlife, Shaka Pow, and some more artists you can expect. It is an uh, album you can play right through. You can play it in any, 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 um, what you should say, anyway, any environment. You know, it is fit for your play, fit for the kids. You know, we are currently in the studio working on the poor man's rhythm. Right, and the poor, poor man rhythm will feature a mixture of young and and um, veteran artists, right? Um, the the um, Ross Colors Music Production also signed artists that is exclusive to the label, which is Aya Purse, Caramante, Lehan, and Rage. And by the end of this, this year, you can expect an album from each of those artists. Starting Ross Colors Music wasn't easy. It caused a lot of stress, you know, time away from home, time away from family. But at the same time, I, I had an aim and I decided that I wanted to get into the music business. I wanted my productions, I wanted my composition heard by the world. So therefore, in order for me to do that, I had to be creative. Roscoe that didn't came about easily. I started by naming it Red Brick Records and then I changed to Ross Cutter's music production sometime after in 2006. You know, getting information about Ross Cutter's, I spent a lot of money in the studios learning the business itself, you know, and learning how to register, learning how to register your music, learning to register your company with the company's office of Jamaica, you know, and from there I started to learn about copyright you know, and general the music business itself, I bought books, I read books, I go on the internet and I search, I do research on the music business, what a producer does, what a publisher does, and what a manager does. And those are some of the things that brought me to where I am right now as the CEO of Ross Plus Music. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah. Why the way I got started in music, it was like a gift from the Almighty Jack. Because when I was a youth in Spanish town, a place named Thompson Pen, it's always a musical place, you know, always dance hall, always around the place. But my parents was very strict, so I couldn't leave the house. So I have to just sit at the gate and just meditate on the music and, you know. So all of a sudden, I just find myself start playing drums you know, get some paint pan and start to play to the beat of the music when I hear another the dance hall and them thing that. Until I man find myself in America. About in the 72, 1972, so. And my first audition for a band was um, the Black Eagles band with um, Denroy Morgan, that's um, Morgan's heritage father. And I, I went to audition with the band because, we, you know, we was friends other than music and neighbors and everything, you know. Plus, he used to cut my hair when I was a kid here in Jamaica. And he used to live right around the corner from me. So I always tell him, yo, dude, let me play the drums for you, man. But he always want Noel to play drums, which is Noel is um, Roland Alfonso. You, you, you all might hear of Roland Alfonso, one of the great Scatterlite saxophone player, you know. He, He's one of the per persons who started this whole reggae music scan and all of that, Roland Alfonso. So his son, he was my best friend and both of us played the same instrument. But everybody wanted Noel to play drums because I was the known guy, you know. And his dad was a very popular guy, so everybody wanted Noel. So I keep telling Denroy, yo Denroy, let me play the drums for you, man. And he said, ah, for about three, four years straight. I've been, you know, telling him, not even asking him, telling him, let me play the drums. And, you know, it, I guess he don't know me as a drummer, you know, but I know what I could do. So anyway, he said, okay. One day I went to him and talked to him and he said, okay, okay, I'm going to give you a try. And then we went to this um, music place, Samash, down by Coney Island Avenue in Brooklyn. And bought, he bought me a drum set and I went back to his house. And he gave me about 300 tapes, reel-to-reel -reel tape in our room, full with cassettes and reel-to-reel. -reel. And so if, if you learn all of these songs, 
then you can play in the band. So I said, okay, no problem. And it took me about two weeks and I learned all the songs, every song, every beat. And the day when rehearsal came up, you know, we went to rehearsal and the drummer came, but he didn't know that I was going to play. And this, um, this song they had on Polydor Records, they might come from Jamaica, it's like, no drummer couldn't play that song because it's like, Somehow, I don't know, no, nobody couldn't play it live and that was always the problem, the problem in the band with this drummer, you know. He just can't play that song. And the day at the rehearsal, then I just called me up and said, come, come play, man. And the next drummer was there and it's like, they went into the song and the I man started playing the song on the drums and all of a sudden it's like, the, this guy just have a damn fucking, like a seizure. His eyes just start turning over and it's like, so from this I just confirm and say, my youth, you are one wicked musician, you know. So it's from this, you know, I start to play drums and, you know, the Black Eagles band and with Denroy Morgan. And, you know, that's, that's where I really started and start excelling, play with Dennis Brown. Everybody came and they just got me as the guy, in the, the youngest little kid in the band and I'm the one who's getting all the jobs, you know, because like everyone just admire and do way I'm on dealing music, you know. So from there it's like I just start playing with everybody. Everybody come to America and they want a, a keyboard player or a drummer. They come to me, you know, Ross Michael, all of them, you know, so and now I'm here and I used to play with um Teddy Afro, you know, Ethiopian music. And you know but it's a it's a it's a long story why I'm here in Jamaica, you know, but as far as the music is, it's all good, you know. So, God bless. It's a long story, and I hope I, I told I say, I hope you come and love Russ Cutter's music because it's some good inspirational music still, you know. Not just physical music, some spiritual music where you have to get into it, you know, like some Bob Marley kind of vibe. <laughs> Over the middle 